this is yeah. my favorite part. Yeah. Yeah, oh. like, I can feel So I met Kelvin and Yuki through a mutual friend, uh, Lee Wilson, who I used to sing background for for several years. I Can Feel It is actually the third project that we worked on. In 2017, we came out with the Kamova remixes and we also did GITMB and both Yuki and Kelvin worked on that project. So it's magic every time we get together. Well, my inspiration behind this project was definitely a 90s feel house music style. I felt that I wanted to bring that sound into my catalog. And I think that working with Al Copeland and Yuki Kaneseka was the perfect dream team to get this where it needed to be. I can feel it is one of those catchy tunes that gets those melodies that get stuck in your head. It's got a really nice groovy bass to it. House music just has that feel to it where you can just be free. And so this song is all about that. I always bring Yuki kind of Seka on uh, in on my projects. Um, he's a master behind the musical aspect. Um, and then take, we take it from there. We have concept chords and he builds off of those concept chords and then Al just goes in and writes. And of course on this uh, project, I'm featured on the writing and some of the vocals. Ready. Al and I were in the studio, just vibing. I happened to play this track and she just fell in love with it. When we initially started a couple years ago, we had a rough, kind of a dirty, raw version that's kind of four on the floor, pumping club style. And uh, obviously I changed it just to fit around what's going on right now, but we still have that track. So there might be an unreleased version, there might be lost tapes version, so. You never know. Kelvin asked me to play uh, tons of his house track and me play keys. Most of his release, I play keys on it. Back in 2017? It's a 17, right? You know, I played it, the track, and then after that, um, you know, vocals are laying down. After we worked on the vocal concept and writing for the, for the track, Yuki came in and put some sugar, like he always does, on on the uh, musical aspect of it. Did I tell you put some sugar on it on the class? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, from top to bottom, uh, I'm having a, so much fun just making music, but when, when it's come to the creation, there's a lot of drama. In a good way though. This hi-hats gives me quantize or feel or groove of the music, and then I'm gonna answer that question. What kind of grooves? Okay, do this way, do this way, that, bra, 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 and then, you know, it's all about conversation, interactioning, um, places and spaces. It's all about interaction. expect a lot in the future collaborating obviously working with Yuki and um, also some more projects with Al Copeland and I'm um, hopefully I will be starting my label sometime soon
future projects, I do want to incorporate more of my life experiences and be more vulnerable and transparent about some of the things that I've endured. Life in beats and groove. Period.